on the next 100 days I will become a bee in Minecraft Hardcore. My goal as a little bee will be to collect the 5 legendary honeys to evolve into a queen bee and defeat the villainous brown bear king. Can I achieve it? Stay tuned until the end because we'll find out. And the goal is 100,000 likes for more movies like these. So please subscribe champion to help me reach the 100,000 subscribers. On day number one, I appeared as a normal bee. Oops, this world looks gigantic and I only have four hearts. This adventure will sure be difficult. And as you can see, I'm Bee Saki with the same colors as my skin. In my inventory, I also had a couple of flowers, so I kept collecting them. Surely the pollen will be very useful for later. Although, to be honest, I don't really know how to pollinate. Suddenly, a bee appeared, shouting. Dude, why are you taking so long? We need to take the pollen to the queen. Oh, hello, friend. I don't really know how to pollinate. I just have some flowers in my inventory. What do you mean you don't know how to pollinate? Oh, never mind, follow me. You gotta introduce yourself to the queen. I followed this bee and we arrived at a gigantic hive where two guards were guarding the entrance. Hey, what are you doing here? Today the queen is very angry, more than usual. We just came to deliver the flowers we've gathered, and he's the last bee born. He needs this thing to pollinate a thing. Oh wow, you were the last bee to be born? Yes, and I'm very eager to learn how to pollinate. Why yes, of course, that's the best part of being a bee. You can go right in, boys. As soon as we entered the hive, it was full of honey. And lots of bees of different materials and species were lining up to deliver their flowers and materials to our majestic queen. Okay, friend, here we just have to line up to deliver the flowers. Today, you'll learn to pollinate. Awesome. Dear subjects, I hope that today you have brought me all the pollen. Brown bears are out there. And they want all my honey. If we are not stronger, we will all die, understood? Yes, yes ma'am, ma senora. Oh, this queen is a bit crazy. But did she say that bears want to kill us? Suddenly, there was a super explosion in the hive, and a giant bear appeared. Ha ha ha! We found the mine hive, and you, queen, will save us by creating honey for the bears. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha, dear. That will not happen! And the queen transformed into a super angry bee. I think that's her true form. Girls, attack now! All the bees rushed towards the bears and an incredible battle began. The bear king also used his abilities, but gradually the bees began to use their stingers. And by doing this, they were also dying. Ha ha ha! What are they doing? They are stupid bees! Oh no, this is very bad! Bisaki, you must escape from here! You are the last hope of our species, take this! This bee gave me some strange honey! What is this, my friend? In the world, there are five legendary honeys! You must find them all before the brown bears do! Now go, I'll distract them! And this bee went on to face the bears and bought me some time for me to escape from this place! On day number two, escaping from the King Parlock, I finally reached the forest. Although there were no little bees around, everything was full of nests, which was very bad. So I decided to fly close to the ground. Oh no, these nests belong to the hippogriffs, some evil eagles. I must leave here to protect the magic honey. I quickly flew away from this place and distanced myself from the hippogriff area to protect the magic honey. I decided to rest on this tree, but just as I was about to fall to sleep, I heard a big noise and an eagle was approaching my tree. Hey you, what are you doing in our zone? Oh no 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 sir, I just want to rest. Our hive has been destroyed and I have no idea where the other bees are. Oh, is that a legendary honey I see in your paws? On second thought, I think you'll be my children's dinner. What? This eagle lunged at me, trying to attack. It wanted to steal my honey and make me dinner for its children. I tried to escape, but it was too strong and left me with just one and a half hearts. <laughs> now that legendary honey will be mine! Suddenly, the sound of a bird was heard and behind the eagle appeared an owl. What? An owl? It can't be! You better leave, eagle. You will leave this defenseless bee in peace. Oh, uh, of course, Mr. Howe. Excuse my bad manners. And the eagle flew away, terrified. Whoa, what was that? Little bee, what are you doing here? This is the territory of hippogriffs. Those eagles are very territorial. You must go. 
Oh, sir, I didn't know this was a place for the eagles, but I'll leave right away. Thank you so much. You must take care, little bee. This world is very dangerous. And this owl flew away. His appearance was very mysterious. Still, I also left this place. Finally, I arrived at a forest and decided to rest on this tree. This world is very dangerous. If you want to know if I will stop Barlock and the eagles, stay tuned until the end of the video, my friend. For now, I decided to sleep on this place. On day number three, I left the forest because I had heard some wolf owls and was looking for little bees in the area. But all I found was a beehive. Surely there are bees here. Hello? Is anyone there? I knocked on the door of this beehive and waited for bees to come out. But finally, there was no one. Oh no, I hope those bears haven't finished off all the bees. I must find them. For the moment I decided to scrap the honey from this hive and get some food. I also took this hive for future bees. I hope these attract some bees. I was buzzing around this area, but no bee responded. Friends, friends, I'm buzzing, can you hear me? I received no response from any bee. So I kept exploring the place until I arrived near a village full of kittens. I decided to ask them about the bees in case they have seen any. Oh, hello there, friends! Hey, kitty, have you seen any bees around here lately? Oh, not really, friend. You are the only bee I've seen in a while. We need them to pollinate again. All the flowers are thine. Yes, I know, friend, but I'm still new to this pollinating thing. I'll keep looking for more bees. I took a couple of flowers and went away from this place. On days 4 to 7, I found a flower forest where I could make my home. So I decided to gather a couple of flowers and collect some logs. But chopping wood was super slow as a bee. Ouch! My arms! This hurts! All this was just for a single log! It can't be! I gathered more logs and upgraded my tools. With a wooden axe, I collected more logs. I flattened the area and started building my new home. I made a couple of trapdoors and placed them around my home. I also changed the ground to oak wood and placed the hive I had taken earlier outside, hoping to attract more bees. I collected honey pieces for food and crafted a honey shield to be safer from the brown bears. But to defeat Parlock, I must find the four legendary honeys. I should rest now. Unfortunately, wolves were howling outside my home. Oh no! What are these wolves doing here? Hey you, wolves! You'd better stay away from my house if you don't want to get in danger! The forest belongs to the wolves and you bees with your pollen affect our sense of smell! Leave this place! These wolves started to attack me, taking away many hearts and even breaking my shield! I was about to die because I was very weak! Stop it! You're going to kill me! As I was about to die, I had an idea. I thought of attacking them from the air, keeping my distance and striking them. At this point, there was no way that these wolves could reach me, and I was able to finally finish them off. Hey, you coward! Stop hitting us from up there! You better leave now, wolves! Oh no, friends! Let's leave this place! The forest is yours! For now, these wolves left me in peace, and I decided to rest for the rest of the day. During days 8 to 11, I was collecting some flowers, hoping some bee would teach me how to pollinate. Suddenly, in the distance, I saw a bear attacking a diamond bee. You will come to work for King Parlock. I only work for my queen. Hey, bully, leave that bee alone. Wow, another little bee that will work for us. <laughs> I started fighting against this bear, but he was very strong and almost took all my life with just a few hits. We had no chance against him. Oh no, this can't be! Don't give up, friend! I remembered that I had a legendary honey in my inventory, so without hesitation, I took it. Instantly, I grew and gained four extra hearts, and I had a new pollen sprayer in my inventory. Now I can finally defeat this bear. Come at me, bear, I'll defeat you! Bees are too weak for us! <laughs> but what he didn't know was that I had a new weapon, and with this, I managed to defeat the bear. Wow, friend, that was amazing! I didn't know bees could do that. Although we still have to defeat Parlock, the bear king. I explained the whole situation to this diamond bee named Bumble. Told her that the bears had destroyed the main hive of the bees. Oh no, buddy, that's not good. It means no more bees are being born, right? 
That's right, I was the B1,311. Oh, buddy, I was the 1,309th B. Almost the last one. Now that's a huge coincidence. During days 12 to 15, I showed my home to Bumble. I think your home needs a remodel. With this, you won't attract any bees. And uh, how do you know so much about bees? You were just born one day before me. One day in a bee's life is very long. That was a good joke, Bumble. Now let's build a new home together. Hey, you stole my joke. Together with Bumble, we went into a cave and gathered tons of stone to improve our tools. After this, we collected iron and some coal. We went to a forest and also took logs to use in our new home. We were going to build a beehive big enough to attract more bees in the future so that we could reconnect the tribe. Finally, we built the house. Yeah, I don't find that funny anymore. It's still funny. Suddenly, scavenger birds appeared in the sky and started to attack us. They were very fast and caused a lot of damage with each and any attack of theirs. You will be our dinner, bees. That's not going to happen. With Bumble, we worked as a team. And with my Poland weapon, we managed to defeat the vultures. Whew, that was very difficult, Bumble. We must equip ourselves better to avoid dying. For now, we should go to sleep together. On day 16 to 18, when I left home, I crafted some furnaces and put the iron we gathered to cook. With the cooked iron, I crafted some tools to be better equipped. Then with Bumble, we placed some flowers around the house to attract any surviving bees that could be around the area. Hey friend, what do you think if we go look for some diamonds? We need to improve our tools. I can guide you to them. Whoa, can you really do that, friend? I can smell diamonds from miles away. Follow me, I'll show you. Bumble wanted to show me your diamond finding skills. Following our steps, we reached the cave and there were a lot of diamonds here. Whoa, this is incredible, friend. See, buddy, my diamond sense never fails. And you, champion, subscribe if you want to have a friend like Bumble to find beautiful diamonds together. That's right, champion. Subscribe to find very nice diamonds like this. And with your subscription activated, we started taking diamonds from this cave. There were so many materials. And we also collected some gold, of course. On days 19 to 23, when we left the cave, we found a forest with many flowers and beehives. But there were no bees around the area. Oh no, buddy! King Parlock is taking all the bees! He wants them to make honey just for him! We must stop him! Those bears are truly monsters! If the bees don't pollinate, the world will collapse! We decided to collect all the abandoned hives here and return home and place the hives on our treehouse. For now, we can't feed ourselves with just honey, friend. Two bees can't pollinate all the other plants in this world, after all. We must find another food source, Bee Saki. For now, I was going to look for food from the farming cat that I saw before. But on days 24 to 26, when I arrived, I saw that everything was burned and full of feathers. I had no idea what had just happened to this place. Kitties, are you alive? Where are you? Far away, I could see the farming cat that I spoke with earlier. Hey, dude, what happened here? Where are the other cats? Oh, Misaki, good to see you. Eagles attacked us. They are looking for the legendary honeys for Barlock. Oh, no. Do you know where they went? I will avenge all your friends. I don't know, friend. But the location for the next legendary honey is... But before this kitty could finish its sentence, it died. No! What? Kitty! Darn it! No one's left in this village! I promise I'll avenge you! I'll find Parlock! I keep watching the video, little friend, if you want to find out what happens. For now, I picked up all the feathers from these eagles and followed their scent, marking the trails of this bad bird. So I decided to follow it. Following the trail led me to a snow biome, where I could see an eagle and a brown bear talking in the distance. I decided to approach to listen in on their conversation. Oh, these villains are together now? This can't be! Why are they working together? I should listen. We have the location of the next honey. We'll go search for it. That's excellent, Klaus. Remember, if you find the honey, we'll help you in your war against the Oz. I'll inform my boss. 
And then I saw that bear leaving the cave. It's my moment. I should follow it and get the location of the next honey. Knowing that I wasn't yet too strong to face it, I decided to confront the bear anyways. But while I was flying, an owl appeared in front of me. Hey you! Get out of my way right now, you bird brains! Calm down, calm down, Bisaki. You're not strong enough yet to face those bears. I realized that this was the owl that saved me from the eagle at the beginning of the story. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean to insult you. This owl, named Butcher, explained that he could train me to become stronger and improve all my skills. Follow me, Bisaki. I'll be your master. On days 27 to 30, following this owl, we reached his home, and he explained the importance that I had in this adventure. In this place, I'll train you, Bisaki. You were the last bee to be born, so you lack a lot of experience, but you can develop your full potential quickly. Okay, Butcher, train me. My first training was going to involve passing through rings full of fire. Whoa, what the? How will I do that? I will get burned. It's all in the coordination of your breathing and wing flapping. When you inhale, lower your wings. When you exhale, raise them. That's how you'll do it. Wow, really? I didn't know that. I quickly started my training in these very dangerous rings. Each time it became more difficult to pass through them until I reached the end, all burned out. Ouch! Ouch! I'm burned! Ooh, ooh, oh no! Oh, this water feels so good! Remember, Bisaki, when you exhale, raise your wings! I tried to apply what this howl told me, and quickly I could pass the test! We moved on to the second training, which involved practicing my aim with pollen on these targets. Aha! Uh -huh, right on target! We moved on to the third trial, which was a fight against Butcher himself! Bisaki, now you'll face me. I'll test the result of your training. What? Quickly, Butcher pounced on me and we began to fight. He flew swiftly and I could hardly see him. But with my pollen weapon, I could confront him. However, he was still taking away a lot of my life with each and every hit. Darn, he's so fast! Enough, enough, Bisaki. I'm exhausted. You don't fight badly, but you must be stronger. I know a place where there's a beekeeper. He could teach you to be a better bee. Take this map, that's his location. Wow, I didn't know such a place existed. Thank you very much, my friend. Butcher went back home and I followed this path to find the apiary. During days 31 to 36, heading towards the apiary, on the way, I encountered some spiders that attacked me. Hey, what are you doing? I just want to get past. Catch her, she'll be our lunch. I had to use my pollen weapon to defend myself from these spiders. But when I defeated them, my weapon ran out of pollen. Oh no, this is very bad. I need to learn to pollinate to recharge my weapon. I decided to follow the map until I reached the apiary. This place was full of flowers and different bees made of various materials. Bees made of coal, iron, copper, and all kinds of materials. How did I not know about this place? It's really incredible! As soon as I entered the hive, I observed more bees. There were also diamond bees here, just like Bumble. I decided to descend and in the underground, there were many bees pollinating the place. Whoa, this is incredible! It feels just like home! Hey, little bee! I'm talking to you! Huh? What's up? Are you talking to me? You're a new bee, right? I see you like how I built this place! What? You? A human made this? I didn't know there were humans who liked bees! Bees are like my family, and I see you haven't pollinated. I could teach you how it's done by removing your stinger. That sounds great! During days 37 to 41, I was about to start my new training. The first step in order to pollinate is to collect pollen with your legs and your stinger. Uh, what do you mean, dude? I don't even have a stinger! That's because they attack the queen before she could remove your stinger. Let me just hit your butt to extract your stinger. What? No, no, no! What are you doing? Leave my rear alone! Ouch! As soon as the beekeeper hit me, a new item appeared in my inventory. My stinger! Whoa, this is incredible! Thank you so much, friend! Now that's your new weapon, friend, but be very careful. If you use your stinger with too much force, you can die, so only use it for pollination. Huh, and how do I do that? The beekeeper began to explain the pollination process, which is the transfer of pollen grains from the male part of the plant to the female parts of another plant. Although, I didn't really understand anything. 
All you have to do is to take the pollen from these flowers to other plants that don't have enough pollen in their system, like these ones here. You get it now? Oh, you should have said that earlier, dude. I approached the flowers and with my stinger and my bee legs, all the pollen stuck to my body and I began the pollination process. Whoa, look at all the pollen I gathered. Well done, Bisaki. Now take that pollen to the female flowers over there. I headed towards one of the flowers and placed the pollen on it, and it transformed into a beautiful flower. Whoa, look at this, beekeeper. I did it. Great job. Now do it with the others. I started placing the pollen I had on my body on the other flowers, and all these plants blossomed. Pollination is incredible. It makes plants grow healthy and strong. After this, the beekeeper explained to me that with the nectar we got from these flowers, we can create honey and also different objects like bread and honey blocks. Although after this training, I became stronger and my hearts also increased. I think you're ready to get the second legendary honey, although you still need to find the infinite sugar. When you merge these two elements, you'll get the fourth honey and you'll be able to defeat Parlog. Take this, here's the mystic pollen. And the beekeeper gave me the second legendary honey. I still don't know where the legendary sugar is, but together we can look for it. Thank you so much for everything, beekeeper. I'll talk to my friend all about this and I'll be back soon. While returning home, in the distance, I saw some bears attacking the tigers. I quickly intervened in the battle and defeated the bears with my pollen. Oh, little bee, thank you so much for helping. These bears are crazy searching for a legendary honey. Yeah, these bears are more aggressive than usual. But you guys remind me of when I survived 100 days as a diamond tiger. You can also watch the video in the description below, my friends. That was a great video, Bisaki! On day 42, while returning home, I saw some spiders attacking Bumble. With my new skills, we faced the spiders and defeated them. Take that, insects! We collected all the thread they left behind. I crafted a bow with it and also made a sword and armor with the diamonds. Hey, Bisaki! You look stronger than usual. Where have you been? I explained the whole situation to Bumble and that I met a beekeeper who could help improve our skills to defeat Parlock and find the next honeys. We should go to him. He's a very good human and he's going to help us in our mission. That sounds great. Let's go. During days 43 to 47, when we reached the apiary, everything was destroyed. There were no bees left alive and there were feathers all over the place. Oh no! Bisaki, these feathers are from the eagles! They surely came to destroy everything! And those eagles are associated with the bears! They are evil! Looking for any survivors in the distance, we saw that the beekeeper was still alive! Beekeeper! Beekeeper! What happened? Bisaki, the eagles and bears destroyed everything looking for the legendary honey and they also took all the bees! Oh no! Darn villains! In the distance, we heard Parlock laughing! <laughs> now you will make honey for me! Parlock, you'll pay for what you did! I flew towards the villain, but the beekeeper no. stopped me! Wait, Bisaki, you still need to increase your strength to stop him! Uh, you're right, beekeeper, but what can we do? When the villain was here, he dropped this map. It's the location of the Eastern Sugar. You must find it, then you'll obtain the fourth legendary honey. Excellent, thank you so much, beekeeper. Bumble, I think it's best to take the beekeeper to our treehouse. This place is no longer safe. Of course, friend. We'll go home. Take care. I will. During days 48 to 53, I arrived in a completely strange biome. And in the distance, I saw a giant beehive in the air with a lot of bees. I decided to approach them to ask about the legendary honey. But then I realized that they were just constructions. Inside these honeycombs, everything was abandoned. I continued exploring the place until I reached the main lobby. And in the distance, I saw a strange potion. I thought, surely this is the infinite eastern sugar I heard about. Excellent. I walked through these honey blocks and immediately took the potion. Perfect. Now I'll be able to obtain the next honey. Parlot won't expect the thing. As soon as I left the place, there were hands at the exit. Whoa, you guys are gigantic. Hey, little bee, that infinite sugar was supposed to be for our queen. It was going to fed us all winter. Soldiers, cats, ha! Oh no, I was caught off guard and had to defend myself to avoid dying. They attacked me from the ground and the air, and I had no chance. They left me with just two hearts. Wait, wait, hands, my friends. I need this sugar to stop the bears that are bothering the other animals in our kingdom. What? Bears? 
Does that include the Antita bear? Well, I don't know that bear, but if it's bothering you, I'll stop him too, I promise you. Oh, in that case, I think our queen will understand the situation. We'll let you take the infinite suga. I hope those bears leave our anthills alone. Thank you, friend. I'll stop those bears. With the eastern honey in my hands, I decided to leave the gigantic beehive. Oh, thank the honeys. I was about to die. With this, I'll be able to defeat the bears. Keep following along if you want to know what will happen. On days 54 to 58, returning home, I saw some unpollinated flowers. I took some pollen to reload my weapon and also pollinate the other plants so that they can blossom and produce some fruits. These are very important for plants and nature. As soon as I arrived home, Bumble and the beekeeper were there. I explained that I had obtained the third legendary honey and I asked the beekeeper which was the next step to obtain the next honey. I know a little animal, it will guide us to a sanctuary when we'll merge the magic pollen with the infinite sugar so you'll get the fourth legendary honey. Follow me friend. Perfect, I'm right behind you. Following the beekeeper, we arrived at a somewhat strange village. Come on dude, we gotta clean this. Bro, come on, we'll just rest for five minutes and then we'll get to work. Mordecai and Rigby, the, uh, boss. the boss! Oh no, it's just the beekeeper that helped us with those ducks. And now you have to pay me back for the favor you owe me. The beekeeper was talking to a raccoon and a rather strange bird. They didn't seem trustworthy. I don't know why the beekeeper trusted them, but he explained the whole situation to them and that we needed their help for this plan to work. I need you to guide this bee to the deadly sanctuary. You just have to leave the pollen and the sugar in that machine and wait 10 minutes. Don't do anything else. When you have the honey, come back here. Understood? I don't know if we can do that, beekeeper. We got work to do. What are you saying, Mordo? Of course we can help. We're available. Hey, you're Bee Saki, the one with the pollen, right? My name is Bee Saki and I have the artifacts. But seriously, beekeeper, won't you come with us? They don't look trustworthy. Only animals can enter the sanctuary, and I don't know any other animal capable of entering. See, dude? We're your only option. Just follow us. This will be a piece of cake. Okay, fine. During days 59 to 64, we arrived at a strange place where there was a gigantic temple. But everything was a desert with only dead things. At the entrance, there was a big sign with letters. For the sake of the world, do not touch any object. Hey, dude, this doesn't look safe. Oh, don't worry. We won't touch anything. We'll just do what we came here to do. Well said, Rigby. Let's go on in. As soon as we entered, we saw a gigantic machine in here and many strange objects. We realized that some arrows were pointing us towards where we had to place the objects. So I think they were helping us. Okay, dude, don't touch anything, got it? Yes, I know, bro. Now, little B, place that there and let's see the creation of this legendary honey. I placed the two objects and this machine was supposed to carry them from this end to the other corner. Uh, this is taking forever! What do you think if we check out those objects around here? Wait, what? You said you wouldn't touch anything! Yeah, but I didn't know this was going to take forever! Let's just take a quick look! Hey, wait, raccoon! And this raccoon was very close to touching the magical objects! Whoa, look at this, bro! And this, and this! Oh, it looks amazing! Until at one point, he accidentally took an object and the whole place started to shake. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to. I'll leave it here. Uh, I'm sorry, Temple. I told you it wasn't a good idea. Suddenly, a gigantic monster appeared wanting to destroy the machine. No, the fourth honey. We faced this gigantic monster to prevent it from stopping the fusion of the pollen and the sugar. But the monster had a lot of life and we couldn't damage it. Damn it. I can't do anything against it! Hey guys, there's a magic sword here! I'll take it! No, wait! Rigby the raccoon took another object. It was a sword that he used against the monster and took away a lot of its life. Whoa, keep it up, Rigby! You're dealing a lot of damage! And with many hits, he managed to defeat the monster. Okay, we did it! Did you see that, guys? I managed to save the day! I told you everything would be fine! But you almost killed us, raccoon! Don't do that again, brother! In the distance, we saw that the objects were about to reach the end. First, the eastern sugar fell, and then the magic pollen fell in. In the sacred water, these objects combined and transformed into the next honey, which I quickly took to myself. 
Huh, does this say extra spicy jelly? Whoa! Whoa, what a cool name! Drink it, dude! What? Are you crazy? I won't do that! It explicitly says that it's extra spicy! Drink, drink it, it, drink it, drink it! Okay, fine, I'll do it, I'll do it! I threw the jar of jelly up into the air so that it would fell on me. As soon as it landed on my body, I underwent a super transformation! My heart's increased, and I had a brand new bow, too! Whoa, you look awesome! Yeah, dude, I told you it was a good idea! It's true, I look super strong! Now let's go back to the beekeeper, guys! During day 65 to 71, as soon as we returned to the beekeeper, he was somewhat angry because I used the jelly on my body! I told you to bring it here, didn't you listen to me? I told him, beekeeper, but he wanted to drink it anyway! He didn't listen to us! What the? You guys insisted that I do it! I don't remember it that way, and you, Mordecai? No, me either! Oh, you sons of... Enough already, it doesn't matter! Maybe you'll just have some side effects, like losing your stinger! Wait, what? Don't worry, let's go back home! As we returned home, I stopped to take some pollen, and now, being a gigantic bee, I collected too much pollen in a short time. And in the distance, we saw some eagles threatening some bees! Oh no! I must help those bees! Friends! I'll stop those damn birds! Quick! If you don't wanna die, tell us where the eastern sugar is! Hey, smelly feathers! Eh? What was that? Oh no! Did you take the fourth, honey? Curses! That's right! This is what you wanted, right? You'll stop bothering the bees now! With my new abilities, I faced the three eagles and I quickly defeated all of them! Ah! Hello bees, are you okay? Do you wanna come with us? We have a bee shelter! Yes, friend! During day 72 to 77, as soon as I got back home, I explained the whole situation to Bumble. And with my friend, we were going to finish building the treehouse. So we went to look for oak logs. I crafted some scissors and started gathering leaves from the trees. While exploring the area, we found a bunch of abandoned beehives, made of different materials that we decided to take. With all this, we began building our treehouse. We finished making the trunk, created some branches where we planted all the leaves we had collected, and also built a giant hive on the tree to attract as many bees as possible. This looks amazing, friend! While we were talking, a super worried owl suddenly appeared. Usaki! Usaki! Mr. Bacho is about to die! You must come quickly! Oh no, what happened? This owl named Otto explained to me that some eagles and bears attacked the owls. So I quickly followed him to see Butcher. As soon as we arrived, the entire forest was burned. Oh goodness, what happened here? We arrived at Butcher's house and he was quite injured. Bisaki, I'm glad you're here. The birds and eagles found the fifth honey and drank it. Now they are super aggressive and have we out almost all the holes. Oh no, this can't be. What do we do now? You can avenge us, Bisaki. There's a bee capable of replicating the power of the fifth honey. Here's the location of the legendary bee. You must find her and prove yourself worthy of her power. Butcher gave me a map that I collected, and after this, Butcher died. No! Master! Otto, my friend, we must avenge him. Help me find this bee and gain enough power to defeat those villains. Of course, friend. Let's go. On day 78 to 83, following the map, we reached a magical place entirely green, with a gigantic castle here. Goodness, honey slimes! We'll have to defeat them! We quickly faced the slimes on the castle bridge and gradually began to climb until we reached the top! Whoa, this place looks kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie! We must be extremely careful! Perhaps that legendary beats magical and might turn us into honey! That would be a fitting end! Alongside Otto, we entered the castle and saw that the entire place was filled with honey. And in front of us was a small bee that changed colors. What? You're the legendary bee? I thought you would be more epic. You child, we're the last bee born! And now you claim my power? Will you be worthy of such an act? I think so, sir. Our mission is noble. We want to prevent the bears from killing the rest of the bees. Let's see your skills! Try to catch me inside this jar! Haha, <laughs> this will be very easy! You're very old and I'm a young athlete! I lunged towards the bee and it teleported! What the? How, how did you do that, bee? 
You didn't expect this from an old bee like me, did you? Come on, try to catch me! Quickly, along with Otto, we tried to catch the old bee. But she moved very quickly, teleporting to different places. Until at one point, we got tired of chasing her. Oh, oh, goodness. I'm exhausted. I... Oh, no. I can't go on. You give up just like that? I see you were never worthy of my power. Hey, little bee, look. Pew honey. What? Where? When the bee was distracted, I quickly approached and captured her. Ha <laughs> ha. I got you. Good strategy, my friend Otto. Oh, goodness. Well done. Now you'll have my power, bee Saki. Look towards my throne. I'll create an entrance to the Supreme Hive. I turned towards the throne and this bee emerged from the jar and merged with me. By doing this, my heart increased, and from my body, a super ray detached, creating an explosion on the throne, which created a place with a lot of honey. We approached and saw a portal to the Supreme Hive. Whoa, this looks incredible! Otto, you must come with the other bees. We all need to become stronger now. Good idea, friend. I'll call the remaining owls. Both of us decided to leave the castle to find our friends. <laughs> Perfect! Now we have the entrance to the hive. Thanks, stupid bee! <laughs> During days 84 to 91, returning home, we found bears attacking some bees! Hey, you! Stop bothering my friends, dammit! What was that? Oh, you are the bee that was in the hive, right? What are you talking about? What hive? We saw you opening the entrance to the Supreme Hive, and now our army has taken over all the honey, thanks to you! <laughs> what? Were you following me? This can't be! If you don't serve us, you will die! I quickly began to face them, but because they had taken the legendary fifth honey, they were stronger. Even though I had also increased my abilities, they took away many of my hearts. Even so, with all my new powers, I managed to defeat all of the bears. Bees, my friends, I'll need your help to save the Supreme Hive. You need to come with us. Of course, we'll adventure a queen of minerals. We returned home and Otto went to look for his friends. As soon as we arrived, we saw that there were a lot of new bees. Whoa, what happened here? Welcome, Bisaki. Along with the beekeeper, we faced several eagles and managed to save many bees. Now they are with us to defeat the bears. This is perfect, friend. We found the Supreme Hive, and it's being attacked by the bears. We must go right now, friends. We'll stop them once and for all. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll save, save the, the queen. queen. Let's go, guys. Now, with an entire army of bees, we are going to confront villain Parlock. If you want us to defeat him, leave your like and subscription right now, my friends. During days 92 to 99, we reached the hive, and I explained to my friends that we had to enter the portal to enter the supreme hive. Wow, I had no idea about this place, my bees have never mentioned it. Don't worry, my friend, even I was unaware of this, although now we must enter. Let's go, friends! And all together, we jumped into the portal. In a magical flash, we arrived inside the hive, and this place was gigantic and full of honey too! This is incredible! Is this what a hive looks like inside? It's definitely larger than I thought! Nearby we saw a strange structure and in the distance was Parlock and all his henchmen. We approached him and in this place they had a bee factory where all I could hear was buzzing from my friends! Cursed bears! You'll leave all my friends in peace! I won't allow you to use them for your benefits! So you are the one who drank the legendary honeys? I only needed to steal one to enter the Supreme Hive, and you fell into my trap! If they won't work for me at minimum wage, then they'll die! We'll stop you! Attack, guys! And all his henchmen started fighting with my friends, and this cowardly villain escaped from the battle. I was going to follow him, but I couldn't leave my friends completely alone so I started fighting alongside them. But all these eagles and bears were stronger than before. They caused me a lot of damage, and it seemed like my attacks didn't affect them. Goodness, how can this be? I have four legendary honeys in my body. You'll die, useless bee! Suddenly, there was an explosion, and from that place, Otto and his friends alongside Mordecai and Rigby arrived to help us. What? Friends? We've come to help you, dude! You got that right! Whoa! Whoa! Bisaki, don't worry. We'll handle them. 
You go and confront Palok and defeat him once and for all. Thank you so much, Otto. I'll defeat him. As soon as I entered the temple, King Parlock was waiting for me, and he had a machine that was draining the energy from all the bees. <laughs> you seriously want to face me, little bee? I've defeated many queens of your kind. Do you think you'll be a special? I'll make sure you regret this. I began to fight against the villain. Although he was too strong, he had skills that blinded me and superpowers that caused me a lot of damage. Despite having almost everything from this story, I was still very weak to face him. And with several of his attacks, he managed to defeat me. Oh, darn it! How is this possible? I got everything I was asked for, and yet, I'm still no match for you! That's the cycle of life. Bears are stronger than bees, and you'll never defeat me! When the villain was about to finish me, suddenly, the queen from the beginning of the story appeared! Bisaki, listen to me. What? How are you still alive? Queen, is that you? In your adventure, you've proven to be a good leader. You saved many of my bees. You made this world much better. The only thing left for you is to be a queen. That's why I'll give you my crown. You'll be my heir, Bisaki. And the queen bee gave me her crown, which I took. But queen, this means you're going to... This is the end of my cycle. But now you must continue it. Defeat this evil bear. And the queen died. <laughs> it's cry, you know you know how to do. Now without your queen, what are you going to do? You'll end up making honey for the rest of your life. On day 100, I put on the queen's crown and immediately transformed into Queen Bisaki. And my heart's increased. I don't care about your transformations, you'll die anyway! With my new power, I started fighting against the Bear King, using my skills and the new strength of being a queen. But this bear was too strong, and there was no way to stop him! <laughs> this is all your power? What a load of trash! When I was about to lose, I remembered that I hadn't used yet my stinger. Maybe with this I could stop him, but I would sacrifice my life. Still, I was going to do it for all my friends. What's happening? Did you freeze in fear? It's normal when you're about to die. <laughs> no, there's still one card up my sleeve. No, Bisaki, don't use your single jewel die. Please, friend, don't do it. What are you doing here? And what do you mean by a stinger? I'm sorry, friend, but it's the only way to defeat this monster. I'll use my stinger on you. None of your skills have stopped me, and you think some stupid stinger will? Don't lie to yourself. I know I've weakened you greatly with all my power. I'll use my stinger to defeat you. With all my power and venom, I stung this bear! What? No! And by using my stinger, I had only a few seconds left to live. I'm sorry, guys, but it was the only way to do this. Don't worry, friend. Your name will be remembered forever. We'll keep your crown as the queen who saved all the bees. You were the best queen I knew, Bisaki. Thank you, my friends. And after this, Queen Bisaki died.